A local leader with Muslims for Peace says he's not just worried about backlash against Muslims, he's also concerned radical jihadists are trying to recruit younger people here in Oregon. K2 Susan Harding shows us how grassroots groups he is leading are hoping to save Islam and to save lives. How you doing, sir? Can I share with you our uh, message of peace? Harris Safar and a group of young men were right here at Pioneer Square just a few hours before the failed bomb plot, handing out their message, Muslims for peace. We can't just stay at home and be comfortable saying that, you know, we're peaceful, we're good people. We have to actually take a stand for it. After the arrest of 19-year-old Mohammed Osman Mohammed, police increased security at local mosques. But it's not just the fear of retaliation that has this devoted Muslim speaking out. Thankfully, the FBI stopped this, but is there a growing trend? trend now um, that we still don't know about, e even in Oregon, of youth that are becoming more radicalized. He says this pro-jihadist online magazine, produced in English, is one way terrorists are trying to recruit young Muslims. The Portland bomb plot suspect wrote this article for it called Getting in Shape Without Weights. It's not as innocent as it sounds, telling others to train as hard as possible in order to damage the enemies of Allah as much as possible, to strike them with lightning speed and great planning. We want to reach other Muslims to say, you have been misled by these so-called leaders who even Muhammad said are going to be the worst people in, in the world. It appears Muhammad's family tried to reach him. Documents quote Muhammad saying, to my parents who held me back from jihad and the cause of Allah, I say to them, if you make allies with the enemy, then Allah's power will ask you about that on the day of judgment, and nothing that you do can hold me back. In contrast, Safar and Muslims for Peace are working nationwide to hand out half a million of these flyers. And inside the flyer they're handing out, a message from the Quran. It says, whosoever killed a person, it shall be as if he had killed all mankind. Each a brief encounter with the hope it will have a lasting impact. But what I would ask is for our fellow Oregonians to see us as uh, Muslims for peace. In Portland, Susan Harding, K2 News.